My friend, I have a reminder for you today. I've got a message from the universe for you, a reminder of something that will see you move forward, of something that will see you planted in your authentic power. It's something that you might have forgotten. But when you recognize the power of what I'm going to share with you today, it will change your life. Grab a hold of this, folks. This is for you. If you are here, there are no mistakes in the universe. This is for you. Let's unpack this together. Come on, let's kick on in. Hello, good looking, welcome to Elevate. Thanks for stopping by, come on in, I love your company. So thanks again for being here. If it's your first time, a special warm welcome. Why don't you join the family? I'm here every day. Hit the subscribe button, it'll only take you a second to go and give that button a push, and it'll mean the world to me. We'd love to have you as part of the family here, there's such great energy. Reach out, say hi in the comments, I love to chat with you, but today's a special message just for you. Now I'm talking just to you. See, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of people who could hear this. And for them, it'll go in one ear and out the other. For them, it will not take root on the inside of their heart. But I'm not talking to most people. I'm not talking about most people. I'm not talking about most people's dreams. I'm talking about you. I'm talking about your dream. And this really matters. So listen up because it's important. We serve a God, we serve a universe, the divine that lives within us, that our dream is made manifest to and through, is about the suddenlies of life. And this situation that you find yourself in now that has you broken, that has you in fear, anxious, concerned, worried, it's stressing you out, that could change in an instant. We serve a suddenly God. And God doesn't live up in heaven floating on a cloud, trying to pluck you from obscurity. Not at all. The scripture tells us time and time again the exact location of the kingdom of heaven and where that is, is on the inside of us. That is the spirit that dwells within the human. See, the scripture says that your heart is the secret dwelling place of the Most High. The scripture says that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. The same things that we saw Christ do, we will do and greater for he will be with us. In fact, the scripture says the same spirit, the very same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells on the inside of us today. So now you tell me, does God float up in heaven somewhere on a cloud looking down and saving people from themselves? Or does the divine live on the inside of you and I? Because if the divine lives on the inside of you and I, it means we are intrinsically connected to the divine. And the divine is all about suddenlies. When you read ancient texts, when you read scriptures and they recount stories and parables and times in history where lives were changed, where the timeline of the entire human race has been changed. These acts, these changes, these dynamic shifts, they happen suddenly. See, the universe is for expansion, never contraction. The universe is always expanding. Where you place your attention is the place where you put your energy and where you place your energy, you expand that thing. So the universe is always expanding. It is never contracting. And it is for the suddenlies. The universe doesn't take its time and slowly ramp things up. Have you ever been in a relationship with someone and it's a bit dysfunctional? Maybe it was a colleague at work. Maybe it was a partner. And this person, they just seem to escalate things and escalate things over days and weeks and sometimes months and years. Until eventually there is so much antagonism going on. There's so much resentment that there is no hope for that relationship, be it a personal intimate one or be it a professional one in the corporate workplace. See, we serve a God who is about the suddenlies of life. He doesn't draw things out. The universe doesn't slowly drag things. I know sometimes it feels like your manifestation is a long time coming. 
I know sometimes it feels like the universe has you in a holding pattern and it's dragging you along or it's dangling that, that proverbial carrot on the stick. That is not what is happening. The way to get to the next level is to put yourself into the unknown. See, for as many times as you respond to things with the same energy, for as many times as you get frustrated at the traffic, for as many times as you use sharp words in your relationships, for as many times as you cut someone down to lift yourself up, for as many times as these cycles of dysfunction appear in our life, it's up to us to come up higher. For as many times as we respond to these triggers in the same way, then we will be responding in the same way and the same response leads to the same outcome. And the same outcome leads to the same way of thinking and the same way of thinking leads to the same decision making. And the same decision making leads to the same outcomes. In this cycle of dysfunction, there is no space for God to move. Because all we are doing is we are wash, rinse, repeat. Wash, rinse, repeat with our life. We're talking and having the same conversations with the same people that pull the same emotional triggers. We're feeling the same feelings of discontentment and not enough. We're having the same inner conversations where we agree with the noise that calls us less than enough. We are having the same emotive responses to triggers and we're never coming up higher. And as long as you're in this pattern, there is no space to create something new. When you are in the known, the known is what you experience. If you want to experience something new, you have to throw yourself into the unknown. You have to start responding to the things that trigger you in a different way. And I don't care what that is. Just do something different. If sitting in traffic normally triggers you, next time you feel the resistance building up inside of you and you're in traffic, sing a song. If a slow-moving line at a checkout normally frustrates you, next time you're in a slow-moving line at a checkout, stand on one leg. Just do it for no reason. If something at work normally triggers you, if something in your partner normally triggers you, if someone talking in a certain way normally triggers you, if looking at your bank balance normally triggers you, next time you do that, respond differently. Pat your head and rub your belly at the same time. Just get your body physically involved in doing something different. You will feel like a clown. You will feel like a clown. That is your subconscious mind saying, this feels unfamiliar. How do we get them to stop doing this? How do we get her to stop standing on one leg? How do we get him to stop patting his head and rubbing his belly? How do we get them responding in the same way because the human feels safe in the predictable? The human feels safe in the known. So subconsciously, your system is trying to drive you into patterns of behavior that it can predict. But in the predictable, there is no space for creation. And we serve a God who is all about the suddenlies. How many times in the scriptures, how many times pick an ancient text and read about the suddenlies that happen in the universe? Even the creation story is a suddenly. The woman at the well suddenly healed, miraculously. The woman with the issue of blood suddenly healed. Jesus raised from the dead. Suddenly he stood before them. The disciples sitting in the upper room and suddenly tongues of fire dance upon their heads. The children of Israel are freed. The slaves are freed. Suddenly the Red Seas parted and they crossed through. The scriptures, the ancient texts that describe our interaction with the divine and the history of that connection always talks about the suddenlies of the divine. Your dysfunction can shift suddenly. Your bank balance can shift suddenly. Your cancer and your tumour and your health concerns, your back problems, they can shift suddenly. Do you dare to believe it? If you're on board with this thing, sing out in the comments. Tell me, Ben, I dare to believe. I dare to believe. Stake your claim because this is energy. Everything is energy. And the universe 
will respond to the sound of your energetic vibration. So lock this in and tell me you're on board. I'm going to stand with you. Because suddenly that situation could change. Suddenly, last night could be the last night that you ever went to bed alone. Suddenly, you can wake up pain-free in your body. Suddenly, the phone rings and it's that person. Suddenly, you win the lottery and you didn't even buy the ticket. Someone gave it to you as a gift. This is how the universe works. It's up to you to fall into alignment and to dare to believe. When you dare to believe, your vibration organically begins to come up higher. And we know that when we are in harmonious vibrational alignment with something, it is made manifest in our life. When you are in harmonious vibrational alignment with depression, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that what you see in your life is the low-hanging fruit of that. See, what you focus on expands. What your vibration is, is what you see in life. If you go into a stadium full of 10,000 strangers and none of them have met anyone, within one hour, you will see what I'm telling you made evident in the natural world around you. Take 10,000 strangers, put them in a stadium. Within one or two hours, all of the beautiful, kind, gentle, loving people, they will have found each other. And they'll be sharing stories and encouraging one another. And all the liars and the cheats and the manipulators, they will all find each other. And they will all be sharing stories with one another. And all the victims, you know all the victims have found one another. And they're competing with their victim story to try and figure out, well, I'm hurt more than you. Well, this hurt more than that. All of the criminals, they find one another. It's the old saying, isn't it? Birds of a feather flock together. And this is how vibration works. What you manifest into your world is the same vibration. So when you are vibrating in fear of less than enough, of anxiety and depression, when you are vibrating hatred, resentment, when you are vibrating in less than enough, when you are speaking the words over your own life that people have told you, it's time to stop. Don't you believe them when they told you you couldn't do it? Don't you believe them when they told you that you're not enough? You are. You can have anything. We've seen it throughout history over thousands and thousands of years. How when you are faithful in the small things, the big things look after themselves. How when you do all that you can do, that's when God sweeps in and does the thing you could never have done. And that is the glue that brings it all together. Ladies and gentlemen, you are on the cusp of something big. There is a big thing for you to achieve. There is something going on in the energy and I know that you feel it. I know that you feel a pull and a calling. Maybe you don't know exactly what that is. That's okay. Keep moving forward. Recognize that we live in a universe that works in suddenlies. Allow the suddenlies of life to amaze you. Expect good suddenlies. Get rid of the evil forebodings. We don't expect bad suddenlies anymore. We don't go to the letterbox expecting more bills. We don't pick up the phone expecting it to be a problem. Get rid of those evil forebodings. The suddenlies that are coming for you are the suddenlies that will have them all scratching their heads saying, how did that happen? You know it's true. I love you with all of my heart. Did it bless you? I hope it did. Pay this forward. Get some good karma for yourselves, folks. Invest in someone and send this to them. Share it on your social media. Put it on your Facebook. I tell you something, everyone hides behind a smile. Everyone is living in their own unique form of dysfunction, just trying to do and be their best. You lift them up because a rising tide lifts all the boats in the harbor. I love you. I'm thankful for you. Go and have a look at these two videos. Make sure you're subscribed. Come and see me tomorrow. Peace.